What's up guys, Bridget from Riverside here, and I'm gonna show you how you can use the Riverside iPhone app to record anything from podcasts to webinars simply using your iPhone. By using your phone's high quality camera, you'll be able to boost the look of your video from this, recorded using a webcam, to this, recorded using an iPhone. Once you've downloaded and opened the Riverside app, you can log in as a host. You can join your previously created studios or you can create a new studio. Let's create a new studio. Name it and decide if the studio is going to record both audio and video or audio only. Next, you'll enter the green room where you can check your camera view, toggle your mic and camera on and off, decide if you want to use your phone's front camera or back camera. For better video quality, we recommend using the back camera and you can also decide if you would like to record vertically or horizontally. Once you're in the recording session, you'll have the ability to invite guests and audience members to the recording and remove them if you need to, accept people in from the waiting room, start and end the recording, see the status of the upload, see how many people are in the studio, you can keep an eye on how long you've been recording, and of course, you can end the call. Riverside will start uploading the recording as soon as it starts. At the end of the recording, you'll want to leave the app open until your upload is complete. You can leave the app running in the background and the upload will continue, but it will take much longer. If you need to navigate away from the screen, Riverside's iPhone app will continue to record audio in the background, but it's important to note that video won't be recorded during this time. To view and download your recordings after they've been uploaded, you'll have to head over to your Riverside dashboard on the web. There are a few ways to join a studio as a guest by following the instructions on the invite email that you will receive from the host, by tapping a studio link that's been sent to you by the host, or by copying and pasting the studio link in the app. Once you've gained access to the studio, you'll set a profile picture and a name, and then you'll enter the studio's green room, where again, you will see your camera's view and toggle your mic and camera on and off and decide what camera to use. Depending on the host settings, you may enter the studio right away, or you may have to wait for them to accept you in. Our mobile app also allows others to join the studio as an audience member. By joining as an audience member on mobile, it means that that person can watch the recording process, but they won't be recorded or able to participate in any way. By joining as an audience member on desktop, they can chat in to ask questions and even request a live call-in to join the conversation. There you go, it's as simple as that. With Riverside, you and your guests don't need access to a computer to have high quality audio and video recordings. You can do it straight from your phone. And if you're an Android user, we have an app for you too. So head over to our YouTube channel and check out our other tutorial specifically for Android users. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you wanna download the app, you can scan the QR code beside me. Otherwise, you can head to the app store and download it there. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use Riverside for all things podcasting and beyond.